Two of my friends just got engaged, so I'm gonna be making them a painting as their engagement gift. They used to live in the Bay Area, so I tricked them into giving me reference photos of their old neighborhood by telling them that my grandma wanted to see pictures of San Francisco. So I'm using those for this painting, and it's been since high school that I've painted, so I'm a little apprehensive, but I think the drawing came out well, so now on to mixing for the sky. I'm going for large strokes since it's half of the painting, and I'm hoping the broad lines will give it some dimension. Of course, my cat decided to jump onto the painting within the literal first two seconds of starting. <laughs> but after cleaning it up, I'm mixing in some vibrant oranges and pinks. Okay, the sky is done, so now onto the houses, which I'm not gonna lie are worrying me a little bit because of how much gray I'm mixing up. I definitely don't want it to feel drab, especially compared to the vibrant sky that I just did. The canvas is 24 by 36, but this part is so in the distance, it's a lot smaller than I was anticipating, so I had to use a really tiny brush for these. Because the gray was scaring me, I went ahead into the street lamp, and I think giving in that highlight and the yellows really brought some life to this background. Side note, I do paint on the couch instead of using an easel, so there might be some weird shots and angles here and there. Okay, the houses are going by a little bit quicker now, and I'm glad to get some blue in there on the second one. And I'm so ready to be done with the windows at this point. They are just so tedious. But this last house does have a light on in one of the windows, which again, I really think makes the background pop. I painted these cars and I guess I completely forgot to <laughs> record any of the process, but I really love how they came out. They were so tiny and intricate, but it's really giving like a Studio Ghibli vibe, I feel like. Again, I am concerned because I'm mixing up so much gray, but now that I'm adding in the yellow and white reflections to the bottom left corner from the headlights, I really like it. I gave the Subaru on the left here a base of gray, then I'm adding in all the highlights and shadows. I'm going to do the same thing with this other car in the middle and add in the red for those taillights. I think I need a different small brush because this one is so frayed already, it's getting hard to use. My grandma, who is a former art teacher, suggested adding in a pink tint to some of the car highlights to pull in from the sky, and it's subtle, but I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. I added in all the sidewalk areas, which ended up being pretty gray again. Thank God for the lamps, cars, highlights, and sky in this painting, because I don't know what I would do without it. I forgot to film any of myself tackling the telephone pole, apparently, but the house on the right ended up being super tedious and repetitive. I also decided to make the colors on it more vibrant than in my references, just to really make it look like it was in the foreground. Okay, adding in all the wires is the most stressful part for me because it is basically painting over top of the entire painting I've already done. Uh, but luckily I had my wet paper towels as a backup to wipe off any quick mistakes and I am beyond happy with the final result. This is probably the proudest I've ever been of myself after completing a uh, painting or any kind of art, so I'm really happy with it. But will my friends be? This has been a really fun journey. I'm really glad that they like the final painting and let me know what you think in the comments.